Hello guys, this is Alfred Ping and this is a hack on how to turn your laptop or desktop computer into what people call a Hackintosh. And what this is, is putting Mac OS X illegally onto a non-Mac computer. Uh, I do not hold any responsibilities for what may or may not happen to your laptop computer or desktop. I do not hold any responsibilities against any uh, legal action that any company may take against you. Now, going into the hack, what you're going to need is to download iDeneb, which is a sort of hack to get the actual Mac onto your system. I have version 1.4 here, which is OS 10 10.5.6, and I also have here Ubuntu because I need Ubuntu to partition my hard drive. Now, once you've downloaded those two app, those two programs or operating systems and put them onto CDs, they both need 700 megabyte standard disks. You're going to put Ubuntu in and boot up into its live disk or whatever. Then go under system, choose administration and go to Gparted. If you can actually see what the hell I'm doing here. There you go. G parted. Open that up. And this is a partition manager for Ubuntu. And it will read all your disks on your system. Here we go. And as you can see, I've already moved moved out a bit, so I, I have an, allo an unallocated space there. Now the way you do that is just you click on that partition and click on this move and resize. You're going to click that and you're going to move that around and get it to an appropriate size. I've left 40 gigabyte for my Mac partition. And now I'm going to click on that and hit the create new partition. And I can name this down here. Well, I can name it whatever I want now because I'm going to reformat it for Mac later. So I'm just going to call this Bob. And leave it as a primary. Leave all the settings as standard. Add that. And you see down here, that's going to add it. Accept up here. And that will now begin partitioning. Are you sure you want to apply pending operations now? This may cause data loss, so it's advised to back up. And you should back up anyway, even if you're not going to do this. So apply. And I'm going to skip here and come back when it finishes. And we're back. It's finished, as you can see here. All operations successfully completed. Click close. Here I rescan again. Make sure you have a new partition there. Give it a second. A few more seconds. Give it another second. And then there we go. We have that other that new partition you see there, and it has no data wrong because it's not yellow. Close this, and now you can go up into the top here and hit. Uh, restart which will reboot your system hit restart and now wait we'll now ask you to hit enter there you go pull the Ubuntu live CD out I, I suggest Ubuntu 9.0 and higher and before you hit enter insert the identity disk so you'll reboot your system with that disk inside. So hit enter. Here we go, HP. This originally came with Vista, by the way. It has an Intel Core 2 Duo processor with two gigabytes of RAM for all you spec geeks out there we see now up in the top oh, here we go. now I suggest you run down here I suggest you type in dash v so you know what's going on but since I know it already works I'm just going to hit enter so I don't need no um, um, bug reports or 
whatnot. And here we are. We now have the fancy Apple logo. And I shall now skip once again and come back when it's finished. And when it's done you get this Apple painting pop up on your wall. Nah, no, just kidding. But if you do want a painting like this, you can order one. Alpha at Alpha Computing, just send me an email and ask for one. And we'll just try and sort one out. So, back to this. As you see, it's loaded up. We've got Mac OS X, so we can choose our language. That's Korean, I'm sure of it. But I want English. Next. i and bring up my settings here. Mm, forget about that. So preparing the installation. It may take a few minutes. Uh, that shouldn't take too long on my machine. Yeah, it's not too fancy, but what not? Whatever. Okay, here we go. And welcome to iDenim version 1.4, 10.5.6 for Intel and AMD chips. And you can get more information at iHackintosh.net, which is where you're going to download it. Link in the description. It's developed by Lane Cree 900 artwork by the captain. And thanks to Piper 2. Give credits out to people. They work hard on these things. Continue this. And now I suggest you read this, this because this isn't no license, this is actually what you should and shouldn't do. So do not install the iDynamic base system over an existing base system. Do not select more than one drivers at the same time. If you have a uh, base on AMD and SS3, you must select alternative kernels and all that. So I suggest you take a read of that. I'm not going to read it out to you because I'm not going to bore you. And so here we go. Now, you can select the destination. Now, before you do this, you have to reformat that drive we made in Ubuntu. Remember that drive? Yeah, good. So you have to reformat that by going up into where it says Utilities. And select Disk Utility. That will now load up. Here we go. That was a cheer. So, here we go. We have Disk OS 1 and 2. Let's try now this one. Uh, this one says it's... Okay, so it's not that one because I only gave it 40 gigabytes. So it's this one. Disk OS 2. And now what we're going to do to this one is we're going to erase it. Hopefully it only erases that one. And we're going to do a MS... Hmm... We're going to do Mac OS X Extended. There we are. And let's name it uh, Mac. Let's name it I. Because that's the name of my computer. So just stick an I in front of that. And hit the erase button. Erase volume. Erase the volume will destroy all the information on the volume. It will not erase information on other volumes. Okay, so good. That's going to work. And now just hope that nothing goes wrong. Good. Nothing went wrong. We now have iClara. And it's now darker because we can actually install on that. And now click the X. Here we go. Click iClara. Click continue. Ah, now don't go further than this. Now click customize. 